homegrown brand Micromax has been keeping up amid the tough competition that it faces from competitors like Xiaomi, Oppo, Vivo, Realme and the likes in the budget Android segment in the Indian market. Now Micromax made a comeback in India back in 2020 with its In for India campaign and the company has since been consistently launching smartphones in its In series in order to keep up with the tough competition that it faces in the budget Android segment. So most recently Micromax has launched this smartphone, the Micromax in Note 2, and it comes at a price of 13,490 in India. Now I've been using the Micromax in Note 2 for the past few days, and I will tell you what I like about this smartphone, what I don't like, and finally, if you should spend your 13,490 rupees on the Micromax in Note 2. Starting with the design, Micromax has given a flat edge design to the In Note 2, something we have seen many manufacturers do these days and it's being received well by the audience as well. Up front there is a hole punch panel and on the back Micromax has tried a Samsung like approach where the camera module tries to merge inside the smartphone's frame. The back panel is very glossy which is preferred by some but it's a notorious fingerprint magnet. The smartphone is lightweight which is great but it does not feel very sturdy or durable in your hands. All in all, it's a decent design, just the build quality could have been better. So coming to the display, it's probably my second most favorite thing about the Micromax in Note 2. Now, it's a very nice display despite being a 60Hz panel as compared to the 90Hz that we see in most of the smartphones competition. Now, it's an AMOLED panel that means that Blacks are darker, the reds are more vivid and the colors are absolutely more accurate than we see on an IPS or an LCD display. It's also super bright so you will have no issues while using the Micromax in Note 2 in bright sunny outdoors. Watching videos was also a pleasing experience on this smartphone despite its low refresh rate. Performance wise the Micromax in Note 2 is just what you'd expect from a 13,000 rupees Android smartphone. Now it does not have flagship specs so the apps do not load as fast as say your OnePluses and your iPhones but it's a smooth experience. During my brief usage it did not show any signs of slowing down or app crashes. Now of course the games do not run at max settings but it's a good, pretty good phone for gaming and of course the 60Hz refresh rate does create an illusion of things being slow. Now coming to my most favorite thing about the Micromax in Note 2 is the software. Now it's the cleanest Android experience in this smartphone segment. Now I have used and reviewed a lot of budget smartphones and after the likes of Motorola and Nokia, this has to be the cleanest Android experience in this budget segment. There is no bloatware, there are no unnecessary permissions that you need to give in order to use basic features there's no ads and the setup is super easy and very quick to just get the phone out of the box and start using. Very good software experience. So the battery on the Micromax in Note 2 is also pretty decent. The smartphone uses a 5000 mAh unit which churns out enough juice. I use the smartphone at a higher level of brightness throughout my usage played a few games, watched videos on YouTube, scrolled through my Instagram and Twitter feed, basically did everything a smartphone user does and it easily gave me more than 6 hours of screen time. The charging is also pretty fast with the 30 watt charger and it takes about 1.5 hours to charge from below 10% to 100%. Now the camera on the Micromax in Note 2 is not the best. It comes with a quad rear camera setup which includes a 50 megapixel primary shooter, a 5 megapixel secondary shooter and two 2 megapixel lenses. Now while that does sound decent on paper, it's not very good in real life. The camera clicks decent clear pictures outdoors in a bright sunny environment but indoors in low light it clearly struggles. Especially when you switch it to wide mode. The camera quality instantly drops and the results are almost always quite hazy. It's not the best camera that we have tested in this segment. 
But the good thing is that the app comes with very less AI interference, which is probably a good thing. The front camera on the other hand is slightly better than the rear camera's performance, but it's still not the best we have seen in this segment. So this was the Micromax in Note 2. Now it very clearly feels like a budget Android smartphone. But Micromax's drive to keep going and keep launching new products in the wake of the tough competition is commendable. The smartphone doesn't have a high refresh rate display. It has an average design with a below average build quality and the camera is not the best that we have seen in this segment. But on the other hand, the display is beautiful despite its low refresh rate. The battery backup is very decent and the stock Android experience makes all the difference. So should you buy the Micromax in Note 2 for the 13,500 rupees it will cost you? I will answer that question in two parts. Now, if you are someone who goes after the numbers, who's all about the higher specifications on their smartphones, then no. But on the other hand, if you care more about the battery backup, about the screen quality and the clean Android experience, then the Micromax in Note 2 should certainly be an option for you.